Welcome back to Legendary 007 James Bond deck building game. We're playing with George Lazenby and Sean Connery and uh, we are... I don't know how we're doing. <laughs> we haven't hit Blofeld once. We've got to somehow. Of course the first thing we do in our turn, George will be starting us off, is we have one of these wonderful cards. And oh it's a gadget. Oh it's not a scheme twist. Oh that's awesome. So the gadget attaches itself to the first mission or villain closest to the villain deck. So this gadget is going to hook up with this. Um, this card can only be completed on a turn it moved. Well, it oh darn it, it didn't move anywhere. It stayed right there, so we can't even get rid of this this turn. Okay, uh, all is still semi okay. All right, so we have uh, George's hand. He's got a wound. He has two, three attack, no synergies. He has three attack. Oh, he does not have enough attack to take out the henchman guards because they are a four. There's really not much he can do about it. However, we can play this. Look at the top. Look at the bottom card of your deck. Put it on top or discard it and he'll have a total of four recruit. I don't have a deck. I have just a huge discard pile. So I unfortunately I have to sit here and shuffle a little bit to get him the deck so he can check the bottom card of it. Either discard it or put it on top. Let's see what we end up getting. Let's hope it's something good. And then he has four recruit. I'm thinking he's probably going to get another cable car. Although the uh, hmm, the Draco card is actually good, but you get a wound if you use it. Um, unless you got a green fist. I don't think he has very many green fists. All right, bottom card of the deck is a basic card. We're going to discard it. All right. Ooh, we, oh, I can't believe we dodged the Angel of Death scheme twist so many times. All right, so we're sitting here with a total of a grand total of four a lovely recruit. We cannot get this Angel of Death card. We can get the equipment for two attack. And I think this time he is going to get it. It's going to go ahead and get these snow skis, giving him, giving him two attack for three recruit. That leaves him one recruit, of course. Well, this could be a one recruit card. It's a two. So, not happening. And that's going to be the end of George's turn. Not, nothing much happened, which is good. We don't want scheme to us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy. We have this angel of death here. Get two wounds. That is so brutal. Oh, he's got his wedding ring again. All right. Ooh. And starter special. You get plus two if you played a, uh, a Tracy Bond hero. Oh. Oh, and okay, this is looking good for George. However, we know scheme twists are in here somewhere, and oh man. All right, over we go now to Sean. Okay, we've been dodging so many bullets. I, I probably shouldn't have said that. All right, and we have argh, scheme twist. It had to happen, it had to come. This still hasn't moved. Oh my god. Okay, the scheme twist. This gets uh, exceptionally ugly, I do believe. The scheme twist. Each angel of death disperses her virus. And how this works is we start with, uh, we start with, uh, well, we start with on assignment. There's no angels of death on assignment. They can get put up here from the brainwashing ability. We do have a lovely angel of death here. Disperse virus, gain two wounds. Now this happens for both players. Oh man. So one, two wounds. For poor George, and two wounds for not quite as poor Sean, but that's still way too much. All right, now we look at the current player in hand, and the dispersed virus happens to them, uh, which is actually, it is Sean's turn, so what am I doing? All right, uh, does he have any? He does not have any. Boy, has Sean ever dodged a lot? Oh, he did get two, and he's got no discard pile. shouldn't say his discard pile now has two wounds in it, but that's all. And then we look at George's hand, and he does not, I don't think he has any Angels of Death, does he? No, nope, he does not in his hand. However, does he have any Angels of Death in his discard pile? I don't remember. He's got so many wounds. Ally, basic starter, basic starter cable. He does not. So uh, we did get dinged by this one, but that was, that could have been a lot worse scheme twist. Oh man, I don't know. All right, let's see what Sean can do. Can he really do much? He's got this. Okay, he gets two, he gets plus one. Uh, can only be used against the uh, leftmost villain or mission. So it can be used against that one, which is good because it gives him three, four attack. 
So he has four attack and then virtually three recruit if you look at this. Four attack, three recruit. With four attack, he will take this out. KO a wound in any friendly player's hand or discard pile. He's going to be really nice and return the favor to George by getting rid of one of those in his discard pile because there are so many. He does now have three recruit. And with his lovely three recruit, I think he's going to... Oh man, I should probably get this for two. It's... Uh, yes. Sean is going to go ahead and get the Tracy Bond impersonate for two, leaving him one. And hit one. Um, do we want to recruit this as well? Let's really plug it up his hand. I think we're not. I think we got enough cards now in hand. And that's going to be... That's the end of uh, Sean's turn. Not bad. He's going to pull up six new cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy. And what does he get? He's got his bobsled. He has Tracy Bond. Ooh. That's good. Oh, Angel of Death. Yikes. All right. Oh boy, back we go to George. Okay, George's turn. This thing's just not moving. Ah, the lovely villain deck. <laughs> oh no, oh my god. Well, no angels of death on assignment. There is an angel of death here which is just keeps pounding on us. Gain two wounds. Each of us, George and Sean. One, two, two more wounds. Oh my goodness, and two more for Sean. Wow! Just wow! Alright, this time we start with um, George. And he, I think, did he not have an Angel of Death? No, he's got a starter. He does not have an Angel of Death in his hand. And I don't. I think we already looked at He doesn't have one. Look at all the wounds in his discard pile. And I'm just double checking again. No, he doesn't. Okay, so George dodges some bullets there. But is Sean quite as lucky? I don't think so. I think he does have one. He's got an Angel of Death. And this one says, Disperse, move the leftmost card on assignment to the left one space. Okay, well, that that wasn't too horrible. And in his discard pile, again, I think we looked. Look at those wounds. Hoi, yo, yo. All right, I'm moving. And, oh, God. There's wounds everywhere. Everywhere. All right. That was basically it again. All right, okay, George, what have you got? I think George actually has a good hand this time, despite the absolute mass of wounds. All right, so first thing he's going to play is this one, which gives him three recruit and three attack. And each time you play a James Bond hero, you draw a card. Does he have a James Bond? No, he doesn't. He has Tracy Bond. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, each time you play a Tracy Bond hero on your turn, you may KO a hero... Uh, in your hand or discard pile. So he can start thinning out. Too bad it wasn't a wound. A hero. So he can thin out his uh, starter heroes if he wants. Okay. Uh, so he'll play that first. He'll play his uh, car. Which means he gets to look at the bottom. And he'll put that on top. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Um, and then he will play the Tracy Bond card. Which will duplicate the attack on this giving... George six attack and he can KO a um, so this is what's in his hand. He don't I don't want to KO any of these obviously. But does he have a starter in he has a basic starter attack? Let's get rid of one of his basic starter recruits uh, and just KO that because they're pretty wimpy. And at this point we really want to get our hand to thinner a little bit. Okay, uh, he's got he's gonna have so much. So six attack, he has six attack, but you can't attack this because it hasn't moved. <laughs> okay, uh, but he will go ahead and attack this for four attack. KO wound in a friendly player's hand or discard pile. He's going to get rid of a wound in his discard pile because you saw his discard pile. It is absolutely crawling with wounds. So far he has three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. He has 13 recruit points because he did play a Tracy Bond. 13 recruit. Um, he, well, this is in Cubash. You can recruit it for three less if you get a James Bond. Is there any James Bonds? There is one James Bond. So we can get this one for one and this one for three before. 
13 recruit. He's going to go ahead though, and he's going to get this for five. Get it out of, get it out of Q branch, and into his discard pile. Uh, and we're going to replace that. So five. He's got seven recruit left. Whoa! You must discard two cards from hand to play this here. Oh, of course, glove box rifle. We're going to get this for five. That's a total of ten. He still has three recruit left. And a five. Ooh, that's a nice looking card. He has three recruit left. I do we want to go with this one? Gain a wound, but it's three attack for three. Yeah, he's he's going for it. We gotta gear up. We gotta try somehow to to hit Bofeld at least once. Oh, and also uh, once this turn when you recruit a hero, you may gain a second hero from Q branch that costs uh, the same or less. Hang on a second. So we've recruited this for five, and then we can recruit this one for free. That's <laughs> eight. So we still have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, so thirteen, eight. We still have five recruit left, so we're gonna go ahead and recruit this for five. <laughs> when you impersonate this hero for the first time each turn, you draw a card. Oh my goodness. All right, because I think that's, yeah, because he got the five, and then he could recruit the other five for free. Because of this one was, uh, he could have the same cost or lower. Oh my goodness, that wedding ring just paid major dividends. I do believe now he's tapped out because he got uh, two fives and a three. Yep, yeah, he's done. Holy man, that was wild. That was a wild turn for George. Absolutely wild. He's going to discard his cards. I love that. That was great. All right, good showing there, George. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Is he going to be so lucky? the next time. Uh, basic, basic. Ooh, seven. But you can't use that against Blofeld. Um, so lots of basic stuff, but he's going to have a nine attack total, but not against Blofeld. Damn it, and Blofeld's nine to hit. All right. Wow, great turn for Lazenby. Over we go for the end of the episode for Sean. All right, are we going to see another scheme twist? I mean, that was just nasty, two in a row. All right, what do we have this time? We have a mission, survive the bobsled run. Well, Sean is the master of that. Uh, eight, ooh, uh, wound the mastermind twice. What? Put two wounds next to it, it gets minus one for each one. Oh, cool. And it pushes this along, so now we can finally take this out for five attack. All right, Sean, what do you have up your sleeve? Which gadgets are you going to use and equipment? He's got his, he's got his bobsled. Of course. Is he going to have enough? Is he going to have enough to take this mission out? That would be really awesome. All right, three. Uh, you can spend any amount of attack as recruit instead. Mm, don't think we want to. You get one. Oh, for the leftmost. Damn it. So he's got three, four, five, six, seven. He's one short. One short of taking out the mission. Oh man, come off of it. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is only for the leftmost, which is this one. Well, okay, then he might as well take it out. So this would be three attack, four, five attack, and that takes out. Oh, hang on, five attack. Uh, oh, this is not bad. So for five attack, Sean completes this mission. Uh, so it's moved, and he gets the gadget. So he gets the gadget, and he gets the mission. Nicely done. This Actually, I'm surprised we're doing this well. And now, we haven't even played this card yet, so we're going to play it now. It says, this turn you may spend any amount of attack as uh, influence instead. So instead of using this as three attack, we're going to use it as three influence. He's going to have three, four, five. He's going to have six influence. It's pretty cool. And with six influence, what was this one again? Uh, now... For six influence, eh? I think he's going to get... Oh, man. I think he's obviously going to get another one of these bob sets for three because it gives him attack. That's three. He's got three left. And, oh, and he's he's going to get one of these two. It gives him a wound, but it's also a three attack. If you use it... Remember, you don't have to play cards from your hand at all. You can keep them and not play them. So you don't necessarily have to get a wound there. And we're going to replace that one. Wow, another pretty awesome turn, i got to say. All right, good stuff. So, again, we haven't hit Blofeld once, uh, but we're, we are getting some pretty powerful hands. The Angel of Death, the Scheme Twist, haven't hammered us too hardly yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, he says. Oh, man. And he's got a basic. He's got his snow skis. He's got a wound. 
couple more uh, equipments and oh impersonate a card twice so he will have lots and lots and lots of recruit and he could draw a card or extra cards okay it's all good but that's going to be for the next episode oh wow i don't know tension building what do we got left in our villain deck our villain deck is actually well i was going to say it's actually not that big it, there's probably like 15 cards left in there still got to get rid of this mission too which will be awesome it'll put two wounds on blowfeld and he'll only be seven to hit all right this is Legendary 007, so thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, your subscriptions, and your likes. It really it really helps out my channel. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the continuation of this with George Lazenby and Sean Connery taking on Blofeld. Are they going to take him down? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. His angels of death are pretty freaking nasty. All right, thanks so much. We'll see you in the next episode.